Hello everyone, welcome to today's new starter. Let us begin with the prelims practice question of the day. Important statements are provided and these statements are regarding tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a very big problem in India and India is the India has the highest number of TB patients all over the world. So this question is also very important. The first statement I have already mentioned, India has the highest TB patients. So this is a correct statement. Second one, TB bacterium can remain airborne for hours and can cause infection. This is also correct. In most of the cases, what happens is a bacteria or virus will be airborne for a very short period of time. So the time period for infection is very small. But when we talk about tuberculosis, the bacterium can remain active for a longer period of time in the air. So anyone can get affected very easily. So this is also correct. We have two kinds of tuberculosis. First one is active, second one is latent. In case of latent tuberculosis, the uh, infection is not contagious. It is non-contagious. So this statement is also correct. So all the three statements are correct in this question. About lithium reserve, lithium is a very critical, very important material or uh, mineral for the development of the country. Lithium is very important because in the recent times, the requirement for semiconductors has increased to a greater extent. So lithium becomes very important for the technological development of the country, economic development of the country and for the scientific innovative environment also. In India, even though we have lithium reserve in certain states, for example, take a look at this map. Jammu and Kashmir has a good amount of lithium reserve. Then we have Rajasthan, then we have Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. And apart from that, we have Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya and Nagaland also. So all these states have lithium reserves. But we are not able to produce lithium on our own. Because lithium production is a very highly polluting technology and we need to convert the entire ecosystem for that. And that is the reason India has not been producing lithium until now. Most of our lithium are imported. When we talk from global perspective, most important countries which have lithium reserve are Bolivia. It has 21% of the global lithium reserve. Then we have Argentina. Then we have United States of America and then Chile. These three countries, Bolivia, Argentina and Chile, they are called as the lithium triangle of the world. They are very closely located, very uh, proximate and they are all South American countries and their lithium production is the most in the entire world. Why lithium reserves and uh, lithium production is very important because India recently signed an agreement with Argentina by telling that we have a company, we have a state-owned company called Kabel. That is Kanij Bidesh India Limited, which is in itself a conglomerate of NALCO, that is National Alum Aluminium Corporation and Hindustan Copper and Mineral Exploration Company. So these two companies jointly started the Kabel and Kanij Bidesh India Limited mostly involves in exploration, mineral exploration outside India. So they have acquired five lithium brine blocks in Argentina and this is the reason this topic is very important. What is VSAT? VSAT is very small aperture terminal sat, uh, terminal station. So they act as a satellite ground station where they can co collect information directly from the satellites and transmit it to the households or the entire location. So why VSAT is very important is because there are a lot of regions in the country, especially tribal hilly regions of which have too much of geometrical, uh, I mean, uh, too much of geological difficulties so that we are not able to provide them with information and communication technology. It is very difficult to build a, a communication tower or a signal uh, dispensation mechanism in these regions. And that is the reason recently the Ministry of Tribal Affairs came up with a collaboration with ISRO by telling that we can try to devolve VSAT that is very small aperture terminals in these kind of regions. So on a pilot basis in 80 tribal villages they are going to deploy this and let us see how the result will be. 
it is used in those regions which have geographical difficulties it is a two way satellite ground station transmits and receives data also transmitting data to the satellites and receiving data from the satellite data voice and video signals all these things can be done so the major and the most important point here is vs ats are of less than 3 meter tall so this is the major criteria for vsat very small aperture terminals vsats can transmit both narrow and broadband so this shows that communication networks can also function and internet can also be transmitted so these are all the most important points which you should remember from examination point of view let's move to the next topic pm ujwala yojana pm ujwala yojana was launched long back now at present we are in the second phase of pm ujwala yojana it is being implemented by ministry of petroleum and natural gas this is a important point around 10 crore beneficiaries are registered already under uh, pm ujwala yojana and under this we are providing uh, we are providing subsidy of around 300 rupees for every cylinder for those people who are registered under pm ujwala yojana eligible beneficiaries receive free lpg connection and later for cylinders we are providing 300 rupees subsidy so for how many cylinders we will provide this if a connection has been given for 14.2 kg cylinder then eight uh, i'm sorry six refills we will provide subsidy and if it is a 5 kg cylinder then we will provide subsidy for eight refills for the gas stove connectivity we have emi facility also pahel scheme is a scheme to transmit transfer the subsidy directly to the bank accounts and uh, we have linked the pahel scheme with ujwala yojana these are all the basic points you need to know we have discussed about tb in the prelims practice question but from mains point of view this topic is very important reason being india has been trying to eliminate tb from a very long time there has been news continuously about tb but we have not received any question in the recent time so for 2024 especially for mains you need to know all these schemes or plans which we have taken to prevent tb five important initiatives i have discussed here the most important point is the third one that is national strategic plan to end tuberculosis by 2025 started in 2017 and it is planned for 8 years four important pillars of this program are detect treat prevent and build detect first identify the number of people who are affected by tb treat them and then prevent ensure that other people will not get affected so prevent tb and then build a better future so that tb is completely taken out of the country detect treat prevent and then build these are all the most most important four points then we have the niksha poshan yojana because people with tuberculosis lose a lot of energy they need good amount of nutrition to fight tb so around 500 rupees incentives is provided every month for tb patients niksha mitra yojana it includes self help groups industrial units cooperative units political parties etc who can register as nikshay mitra they can adopt the people who are under uh, going tuberculosis and who are not in a position to pay for their treatment they can pay for their treatment partnership has been done with world bank world bank has provided around 400 million dollar credit for accelerating tb response in nine states tb harega desh jeetega campaign is a very important campaign it is a campaign started by the government to ensure that different actors of the society such as private sector corporate sector governments and uh, inter ministerial multiple ministries all these things along with the people will come together and promote awareness about uh, tuberculosis etc so these important schemes should be remembered and studied also mains question of the day what are the problems with financial contribution to political parties suggest measures to overcome these problems financial contribution to political parties what are the major problems 
uh, in this aspect. Financial contribution to political parties is not transparent. Recently, the Supreme Court even scrapped the electoral bond scheme. So this clearly shows that there is no transparency. There is a lot of discrepancy in this. What measures can be taken? Several measures have already been suggested. The Election Commission of India has already told that we need to publicly fund the political parties. Private funding should not be there. That is one thing. You can also tell that whoever is funding to the political parties, their name and details should be given, uh, given out so that everyone will be aware of it. It should be subjected to right to information. Right? That is another good suggestion. So in this manner, you can come up with suggestions for this question. A very important point which you can use in your mains examination, almost 60 percentage of the funds received by political parties are from unknown sources. It was told by Association of Democratic Reforms. This you can use in your introduction also. One important report which you should remember from prelims point of view it is closing the women's health gap. Closing women's health gap is a very important report. It is given out by World Economic Forum. So women's health gap is a very big problem because not just in India, you take globally and you try to get the data of health indicators of men and women. The health indicators of women are always less when you compare with men. So this clearly shows that there is a huge gap in health indicators. So that should be worked upon. We should try to reduce this gap. So this is what World Economic Forum has told. So these are all the most important topics which were in news today, which you should also study and remember. That will be all for today. All the best. Let's meet tomorrow.